Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review and today we're taking a look at the Playmate Godzilla vs Kong Skullcrawler. Um, got a few things to say first off. Um, there may be spoilers in this video. Uh, I'm going to talk about a couple things that could be spoilers for the film. So I'll, I'll say something like, you know, spoiler <laughs> before I start talking about it. Uh, and secondly, this is probably the only Playmates figure I'm going to review, just because I really don't care for the other ones. Um, you know, Monster Arts is probably going to make a Kong, so I don't really have a reason to pick up the Playmates. Um, and the Godzilla is just not good at all. But Playmates probably, I mean, <laughs> Monster Arts probably won't make a, um, a Skull Crawler. And I thought, hey, this one doesn't look too bad for 10 bucks. Uh, I'll pick this one up. Uh, so first things first, we're going to talk about the box, because I actually have it this time. Um, there could be spoilers on the back of this box. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you before I turn it around, but here's the box. Uh, we've got that kind of poster that we've been seeing, but it's colored in. It just says, you know, Godzilla vs. Kong, Monster vs. Here, Battle Damage Reveal, um, and a Burning City. Nice. Okay, I'm going to turn it around now, so... Spoilers. Um, uh, the most dangerous super species on Skull Island. The ferocious skull crawler attacks with razor sharp claws and the whiplash tail to dominate opponents in battle. Uh, it comes with uh, an accessory, a heave, hollow earth anti-gravity vehicle. And then it shows you other figures in the line. You can see Kong, uh... Warbat, Godzilla with an accessory, Godzilla with a radio tower, and then the other Kong. Um, but that's pretty much it for the box, so I'm just gonna toss it on the floor. I'm not keeping it, I just kept it for this review. Oops. Anyways, now, onto the scroll crawler. Uh, this is not spoiler territory for now, until we talk about, uh, the accessory. But, uh, for ten bucks, uh, it's not too bad. I think it could look better. But it's not that bad for a kid's toy. It kind of feels a bit on the cheapy side, but at the same time, it's like, <laughs> it's not too bad, but it kind of is. Um, it's painted pretty decently. I don't really know what to say. I mean, I don't really review kid's toys, and I don't really buy kid's toys, so I don't know what to judge it against. I've seen the Mattel uh, Jurassic World line, and those look, I'd say, a lot better than this. <laughs> and they're about the same price. But I don't know. Um, so I guess articulation. Uh, his mouth can open a pretty decent amount. It can open farther to create a meme. <laughs> so that's pretty fun. No articulation um, here, but it feels like it could come off, so I'd be careful with that. Uh, arms, they can go up that far, down that far. And this piece, uh, it can rotate. This piece is made out of soft rubber, by the way. Um, so your kids don't poke their eyes out. Uh, you can get a decent amount of articulation out of that, I guess. Oh, this can also rotate, actually. Rotate all the way around. Um, again, in and out. You can rotate it in and out. Um, it's like that on both arms, obviously. Then the other only... The only other... Other only? Only other point <laughs> of articulation is the tail. It's on a ball joint, so you can... You can... Eh, turn it around. Um made out of a soft dish plastic and nothing too special here it's not the greatest figure in my opinion I mean it's probably the best in the line but that's not saying much detail wise it's not too bad but because of how it's painted it you don't really see much of it um, the eye is at least painted pretty well on this one um, it's got like some little scratch marks, you can see. So again, not not too bad. It's okay for ten bucks. Um, he also comes with this the battle damage uh, accessory piece, kind of like the old uh, Kenner Jurassic Park toys. Uh, basically, you just rip it off and you expose his back. It's not painted, but it is what it is, and it just plugs right back in. Wrong way. <laughs> um, there we go. 
it's kind of a tight fit, which is nice, you know, you don't have to worry about it falling out, and you just take it out, you just flip this, and, and that's it. Um, now for his accessory, which could be a spoiler, uh, 3, 2, 1, it's this little kind of vehicle looking thing. Uh, we don't know if it's going to be in the movie, it might be, it might not, uh, it's called like an anti-gravity uh mobile transport or something <laughs> I forgot what it stands for it's like H-E hollow earth anti-gravity there we go no anti heave I guess anti-gravity vehicle it is what it is I mean it's not the greatest it's sculpted kind of well but it's hollow doesn't really feel like it's made out of nice plastic, kind of, kind of feels cheap, but at least the window's painted, I guess. Um, it's actually bigger than the tanks that come with the Monster Arts Burning Godzilla there, so I mean, that's kind of cool. I'd grab them, but they're all the way over there, so I don't want to. Um, but it's neat, I guess. You can, you can do that if you want. <laughs> he can probably hold it in his mouth. Um, yeah, never mind. He, he can't... Um, no, yeah, he can. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> alright, I guess size comparisons now. Now, uh, this is going to be the embarrassing part. I actually don't have a Kong figure. Um, I had the Mesco, but I sold it a while back. Um, so at the moment I don't have a King Kong figure of any kind. If you have a Monster Arts, um, King Kong 2005, let me know. Because I kind of want one of those, but they're really expensive on eBay. So I guess for now, size comparisons. Um, here's the Revoltech Baragon. This is a pretty small figure. Uh, they're about the same height. The scroll crawler is a lot longer, though. Let me just fix these guys. Uh, yeah, scroll crawler is pretty long for a $10 figure. Uh, but he's, he's really short. That's about as tall as you're going to get him. Uh, let me put this guy back. <laughs> there we go. Uh, and um, here it is with the SH Monster Arts Godzilla. Which, um, if Monster Arts does a Godzilla vs. Kong line, they'll probably just reissue this figure. Because honestly, by what we've seen so far, the Godzilla design isn't going to change. So... You know, why would SH Monster Arts make a whole new Godzilla? That's a design they already have. Um, but yeah, he's about half Godzilla's height at the at the head. A little close to his shoulder at the top of the back. Um, I think he's actually... Yeah, he's a bit longer than Godzilla. He's, he's a bit longer. Um... Put this guy back. Here he is with the NECA Godzilla 2019 mold. Um, this is the reissued Atomic Blast version of Godzilla. Uh, I think it's taller than the Monster Arts. Um, not by much, but still. <laughs> um, about the same size. Slightly taller. Um, Lengthwise, I'm not sure. Uh, but I, I think that's pretty well. I mean, I don't know how big the one is <laughs> Godzilla vs. Kong will be if the, if there if, if there even is one um, And one final comparison just because he's over here um, Good on, get him out Here it is with the NECA Godzilla 1954 figure um, He's an average size figure. They're all about this guy's height give or take um, Yeah it's pretty good. I mean, these two probably wouldn't be together, but uh, it's a comparison, so it is what it is. Um, not bad. So, final thoughts. Um, for ten bucks, it's all right. <laughs> it, you know, it's not going to be super articulated. It's not going to be super detailed. It's not going to be painted, um, you know, super well. Um, it, it does feel cheap on, in my opinion I don't know what kids toys are like now but I kind of remember my toys <laughs> being kind of like 
almost indestructible at times. You know, I could toss them out the wall and they'd be fine. But this kind of doesn't. It feels like if I were to tug on this hard enough, it would come off. And um, it kind of feels like it's coming apart here. There's like a little seam line. Uh, you probably can't see it. Um, there's like a seam line. It kind of feels like that's coming apart. Um, paint is okay. It's made out of like softish plastic. So, well, the arms are, and so is the head. So that might be why. But I don't know. It's got a neat gimmick. It comes with an accessory. Um, it's pretty big. I thought it would be smaller. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> um, so overall, get it if you want a school crawler. If you like, absolutely have to have it. Um, you can try and repaint it. That's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use this guy uh, for a video. You know, repainting school crawler. How to repaint school crawler? Whatever. Um, but yeah, I plan on repainting it to be kind of like movie accurate to. Uh, King Kong Skull Island um, That's about it. I mean if you absolutely want a squirrel crawler uh, Get this because it's really the only option we have and it's probably the only option We're going to have because I really don't see monster arts doing one um, Neck is out of the game. I Don't really think any other company is doing Godzilla stuff And for ten bucks I guess you get what you paid for. <laughs> um, it's not it's not horrible. It's just you know compared to NECA, it's <laughs> but it's all right. Um, yeah, those have been my closing thoughts. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more. Uh, comment down below what you think of this guy. Um, yeah, peace.